In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Hobbywing LCD program box versus the OTA Wi-Fi Bluetooth programmer. Which one is better and which one should you get if you're looking at tuning your Hobbywing ESCs? If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me bashing or crawling or drifting or racing, plus doing product review videos and how-tos. And I've been using the Hobbywing LCD program box for years and years and years. And now I've actually finally picked up this Hobby wing OTA programmer we are going to get it plugged in I have underneath the shell my Red Cat RDS drift car with the Hobbywing XR10 Pro ESC which does have a programming port right here on the front of it we're going to get the both of them plugged in look at the comparison of what features you have and how you can program it so you can make a decision of which one is where your smarter money is spent fortunately my ESC does come with a very handy plug right here in the front of it that allows allows me to plug the program box or the OTA into it without any issue. I'm going to start with the program box because it's my what I'm used to and I've used in the past. Let's get the thing fired up and I'll show you what it's like. After the ESC connects into the program box, the cool thing about it is it allows you easy access to change everything that's in the manual that's a programmable feature to the ESC. In this uh, XR10 Pro, we have all sorts of stuff from running modes and some of the basics here cut off voltages and things like that but we actually get into things like which direction does the motor rotate we get into throttle curves we get into we get into brake values and drag brakes and brake frequencies and all these kind of things it does have of course boost and turbo and you can turn you can time all of these things one of the things i do struggle with on here is when we get into stuff like boost uh, it actually says well what's the boost rpm start that you want so 6000 rpm is the factory setting and ends at 22500 rpm which again is the factory setting that's awesome but the truth is i don't know what my rpms are i don't have anything that measures that or gives me that information or feedback so when I tune those, I just kind of have to shift them up and down a little bit and see if I can tell the difference. Or as you just saw, leave them in the factory settings and hope that it's right. This ESC is set for a drift mode. And so hopefully it's about right for what I need. I have this OTA set up. Now you can either have it work through Bluetooth or through Wi-Fi. And then what you do when it comes in here, it looks like we have yeah, it looks like we have all the same features that we had in the other one, just in a little bit different of a user interface here. So as an example, if I wanted to reduce my max brake force, I do have the ability then to actually bring that down just like that. I can then save it. Are you sure you have to save the parameter settings? Yes Then you can save those settings as you put them in there. So is this easier? maybe maybe not I do have to have my phone with me my phone does have to have battery which it is definitely losing some battery up here uh, but it seems to be fine so the question then comes is what's really extra about this that you get versus that standard programming card a couple things is you can do a firmware update through it so that's nice obviously the LCD box is never connected to the internet you can update it through your computer though if you really, really wanted to uh, what I really see here is we can do both real-time data where we can see what our voltage is, the current, we can see what our RPMs are, and then we actually have the ability to data log the car. But with all these parameters loaded in, I can now actually go drive this car around a track and I can see what my motor RPMs are, how much throttle I'm using, what turbo and boost are. So I'm gonna give this a shot here, just in my garage, and we're gonna see what kind of results we get. And so after you've run, uh, even watching just the data here real time, after you've run it, you can click on history then from OTA. You can select the file and view it. You can then see this graph of the time. So it looks about 20 seconds or so that I was running the car. You can see different values up here. It kind of looks like a mess. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking some different things off of here. So here I can look at throttle and RPM and maybe make a little bit more sense. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take throttle even all the way off of it. And then one of the cool things you can see here is like my max RPM and you can actually come through here and actually move the values. 
Max RPM was about 94,000 RPM is what I was spinning at one point, which I need to be really careful with. Looks like way over here I was running, yeah, 95,000, something along those range. So you actually have the ability to see what you're doing, and maybe if you make one lap, you'll be able to see your throttle and the RPM curve around the lap. You'll be able to see what RPMs are you hitting, and that'll help you tune in your turbo and boost settings. You know, another another thing that you can see here is kind of look at RPM versus ESC voltage. You can see every time that my RPM really hit high, as I was giving it a lot of throttle, corresponded with a voltage of the ESC dropping, right? And it actually looks like I have about a minimum of about 6.4 volts on the ESC. That tells me that maybe I want to consider looking at a little bit of difference in what that uh, M is my battery fully charged and am I getting enough voltage to it? So again, where this really comes into play is you can actually see on your boost, I'm putting in 10 degrees of boost right now, and the factory settings say starts at 6,000 RPM, ends at about 22,000 RPM. So that means I'm adding that timing to the motor through that RPM band, but then I'm actually hitting a much higher RPM, so I'm losing all that timing later. So one of the things you can easily play around with then is coming in here and changing where is that uh, max RPM cutoff on boost and actually uh, modifying it, going and driving it easily, setting it, saving it, saving that change it straight into the ESC like that, and then going and watching what happens from the data and everything as you go. Now we've tested both of these back to back. You can see how they function and what the added kind of benefit is from getting that Hobby Wing, the OTA programmer. So the question comes, is it worth it for you? I mean, is which one of these is really the better buy? Of course, one of the things you're gonna be curious about is price and the LCD program box, when I look it up today, can be purchased for about 30 bucks. And the hobby, the OTA programmer is around 60 or so. So yeah, you are gonna pay double for it. Beyond price, both of them of course plug into the ESC in order to get the data. Yes, on this one, you do need a Android or Apple app in order to get the data, whereas this is just right here in front of you. You do get the added benefit of some of the data logging with this one, but you just don't get otherwise with the program box. I believe for probably most of the folks out there, you're if completely fine saving the $30 and just getting the LCD program box. Done, end of story, finished, right? Uh, there's probably a few people that really want to dial in some of their timing settings and want that data logging feature. So if that's you and you want that extra little data, then great. You know, that's really it. And again, at the end of the day, it only costs 60 total dollars. So it's not too crazy of an expense overall. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions about what I've talked about or what I've done here in this video, or if you have any thoughts about uh, your own experience with the OTA program or the LCD box, leave them down in the comments below otherwise i'm gonna have a link to my drift tech playlist over here to your right so if you want to see any other stuff like this that i have done it'll be in that playlist we'll see you in that video thank you and goodbye